This Earth Day, choose just one thing to change. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Lisa Wu. She is a program director for Partnership for the Delaware Estuary. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. You have a great upcoming event, but let's talk a little bit about your organization. You work to improve the Delaware River. Talk to us a little bit about the importance of the river because it really does have an impact on the quality of the water that we drink on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. This It's actually an amazing river we have here. Um, there's been some you know, different regulations that were passed in the 70s that have just cleaned up the water significantly and so we have a lot of wildlife returning and then we also since this is such you know this is a living and a working river we have a lot of corporations that also depend upon the waterways for their you know intakes and for their process as well as we have recreation we have kayakers boaters birders all kinds of people using this and then in some sections up in Philadelphia, for instance, they use the Delaware River as a source for their drinking water, so it's really important to keep those waterways clean. But you work throughout the region, but specifically in the city of Wilmington, you, you work in a variety of different ways, mm -hmm. including partnerships, and you have a great partnership happening just in time for Earth Day. On April 20th, you have a fun, free event. It's very family-friendly. It's happening in Rodney Square, and it's a lunchtime event. Great for people who work in the area and school children who attend school right around the area. Yes, we invite um, anyone that works in the city or at home and wants to come on in. Um, it's available from 11 to 2 in Ronnie Square, and basically we invite all the students as well that are within walking distance to come out and join us. We have different vendors that provide green products or green services. We're going to have several um, hybrid or different types of vehicles that are, you know, really good as far as fuel efficiency there or have kind of don't produce that much waste in construction. So we'll have all these different vendors that people can walk around and ask questions. Uh, we also have um, more plants and trees to give away this year than ever, and we'll have some activities for the kids to do too, where they're going to get to plant a ceiling and then decorate a little pot with some eco-friendly things and all kinds of things they can do. Now, you make it a lunchtime event so that it's convenient for people who work in the area, mm -hmm. but it's also fun for school children. You say that many kids who attend school in the area come as a class. Yep, they come as a class and we actually arrange so that they can do different activities at the Wilmington Library as well and we'll have a different lesson about our waterways and how the different things that they do can help keep the waterways clean by not, you know, littering or by picking up after their dog or even encouraging their parents to clean up a, a car that has maybe a leaky f engine fluid or something, get that fixed so it's not washing into the storm drains and the creeks every time it rains. You encourage people to choose one thing to change. Talk to us about that concept and why that can make a difference. Um, I think it's really important, just kind of like your New Year's resolution for Earth Day, just choose one thing that you're going to do a little bit differently. And we have these different materials available that people can look into to see all these different things. Sometimes it's just a really simple decision, whether it's you know, I'm already recycling, but now I'm going to also recycle my batteries. Or I might, when I'm shopping, you know, I'm trying to choose between two different lettuces or a tomato at the grocery store. I'm going to choose the one that has packaging that I can recycle or one that doesn't have any packaging at all. And those are simple steps. There's actually a workbook for households that people can pick up and learn more about. It's available through the city of Wilmington. Talk to us about that. Yes, that's a great piece. It has everything from what you do in your home to work to driving, um, lifestyle choices, um, growing your own vegetables at home, different choosing local beers even, you know, to all these different things are just simple decisions that you're already making, but thinking about the environment a little bit when you make the decision. And that will be available f as part of this Earth Day celebration, all happening on the 20th of April at Rodney Square. You have a lot of fun things happening. You mentioned free plants, some crafts for kids and adults as well. You have a raffle as well. Yes, we have a really neat raffle. We have a bright lime green Adirondack chair that's actually made from recycled milk jugs. And these are really cool things and they're durable, so it's a really neat raffle item. We can join you at Rodney Square on April 20th. Thanks for being with us. Great, thank you. We've been talking with Lisa Wool. I'm Jill Horner.